Alléluia. Alléluia. We thank the Lord, the Almighty Jehovah, for another day, beloved. He alone is worthy. So without wasting time, let us pray. Our rock and our salvation, mighty King, mighty Lord, you alone is worthy to pray unto because you are almighty Jehovah. Father, we thank you for another day like this. It is only your mercy that endure forever. We thank you, covenanted God. We thank you, miracle working God. You are a merciful Father. So today, we will not take your glory, but rather, we will thank you. I pray in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ for giving us a life. Unto thee, O Lord, with you, all things are possible. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, he is able to do it for us, for giving us a life. So this morning, we are so here. It is him alone that can do this for us. I take this opportunity to greet the viewers of Prophet Kenewu that avail themselves in a daily basis to listen to end time prophets. May God richly bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, this is another day we are giving us away. The title of the message is magnify the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. So without wasting time, we will go to the book of Job. And we are reading from Job 26. And the verses are from eight, from six to the end. So beloved, let us hear the word of God. Shiloh is naked before him and the destruction has no coverage. Beloved, when we say a Shiloh, it's a dark place of the dead where there is no light. So Shiloh, is a dark place. So beloved, he said, it does not. Destruction has no covering. All is in all by our Lord Jesus Christ. Everything is naked before him. We continue, seven. He stretched out the knot over empty space. This is Job letting us know the works of the Lord. Eight, he built up the water in his own thick cloud. Yet the cloud are not broken under it. Nine, he covered the face of his throne and he spread his cloud over it. 10, he draw a circular horizon on the face of the waters and the boundary of the light and the darkness. 11, the pillar of heaven tremble and are astonished as his rebuke. 12, he stirred up the sea with his power. Hallelujah. And his understanding, he break up the storm. 
By the spirit, that is 13, he adored the heavens. His son feared the fearing serpent. 14, indeed, these are the mere edges of his ways. And how a small whisper we hear of him. The last verse. But the tender of his power, who can understand? Hallelujah. Beloved, we all the agony that Job went through. He did not mama. But for you and I, any small thing, we mama. And it isn't good to mama unto God. For him, he knows everything. Beloved, let us see Job 2. How Job wife wanted Job to curse God. Beloved, when the good time was there, this woman was enjoying with Job. But when the right, the wrong time came, he wanted Job to curse God. It is like you and I. When we have good time, we are happy. But when obstacles come on our way, we mama. We try to say so many things. God, why me? God, why me? Beloved, we shouldn't do that. Let us hear the book of Job, verse 2, and the verse is 9, about Job's wife. Then his wife said to him, do you still hold a fast to your integrity? Cause God and die. Beloved, look at what Job's wife was telling Job that he should curse God. Beloved, we should not do that. Job was describing us in Job 26, the verses we read, that with God, this is his handiwork. He stretched the knob over empty space. He is a mighty God. He is the one in control. So this afternoon, Job is describing how mighty, how wonderful our God is. And we know the problem that Job went through, but Job was able to stand. And we all know the end, what happened. God blessed him. So this afternoon, the agony, the problems that we go through. We should not mama because he wants you and I to go through so that he will know for sure if we love him. And Job was a man like you and I. And he proved that, Father, I love you. So what about you and I? So this is the moment that we have to Sit down and think about the wonders, the works of our God. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly for you and I. But why do we, Mama, why do we ask God, why me, why me? We shouldn't do that. He knows you and I. He knows our burden. But when the right time comes, he will does it for you and I. He is a God, a miracle working God. With him, all things are possible. Is there anything too hard for him? No. So this afternoon, we should stop murmuring. It doesn't please God. Hallelujah. Job described the works of God that the pillar of heaven tremble and astonish at his rebuke. It is him alone. He created it. And with him, all things are possible. So beloved, Job is no more around. 
it is you and I. He has let us see the works of God. So this afternoon, we serve a mighty God. He is our king, our God, our master, the controller of our life. So this afternoon, we give him all his glory. We give him all his honor. We magnify his handiwork. What a wonderful God. With him, all things are possible. So daddy, we thank you for the message like this. That we should not mama again. We shouldn't complain. As Job did not complain. So beloved in Christ, brethren in the Lord, Job is no more around. It is you and I. And the more we walk with him, oh, he's a merciful God. His handiwork is so marvelous. We give you all your glory. We give you all your honor for giving us a message like this. Unto thee, O oh Lord, would you, all things are possible. Hallelujah. I take this opportunity again to greet the viewers of Prophet Kenneth for availing yourself and also end time prophet. Father, what you have ordained him, you have called him to win souls for you. Him, the wife, and the children, may you bless them in abundantly. We thank the Lord for giving us this afternoon his word. In Jesus Christ, the word has come forth. We praise you, we cherish you, we honor you. Hallelujah. Amen.